A review of the Statums expansion pack. Statums is a space-filling molecular model building kit. The Statums are held together by strong magnets that enable molecules the size of glucose to be made. The expansion kit contains 26 hydrogen atoms, 12 carbon atoms, 12 oxygen, 4 nitrogen, 2 phosphorus, 2 sulphur, 4 halogens and 12 double or triple bond pieces. This is enough to make the majority of small molecules required to teach A-level and GCSE science. The kit came about as a result of the Kickstarter campaign by Derek Muller, who is behind the popular YouTube channel Veritasium. As I have already various model building kits which I use for my teaching, I decided to support this project and the price on Kickstarter was comparable with other models on the market. There were several kits developed from the basic model to the expansion set, plus a micro-sized model kit. The basic and expansion sets have larger than average size molecules of atoms so that the students can see easier and they are magnetic which allows for the speedy construction of molecules. So let's have a look at the set in detail and see what we can do with it. Each atom is manufactured in two parts either with a one or a two magnet hemisphere. The box is well organised, unlike many other sets I've owned, and I've already, after using this for just a week or so, I've decided to keep the model atoms in this box permanently. The atoms are fairly easy to get out and to put back again, and this helps and promotes use. A box that's a mess is hard to check at the end of a lesson and this one being well laid out the box is very easy to check at a glance. Making the molecules from these atoms is a snap. Here is a model of methane, carbon and one, two, three, four hydrogens. Removing one of the hydrogen atoms, replacing it with a carbon and placing on some more hydrogens, we have easily made ethane. And removing a hydrogen and placing just an oxygen there, we have easily made an alcohol. The model kit shows here a little animal which the students appreciate. If we go back to ethane, it's easy to add on atoms to make the chains of propane and butane. So simply taking another couple of hydrogens there, we've made propane and replacing another hydrogen and replacing that with a couple more hydrogens, we've made butane and we can carry on. We can make other structures using the double bonds and so if I take out a couple of double bonds here then we can quickly and easily make a model of ethane. We can then easily take another bond and by flipping the bond around the other way we can make a model of ethyne. The double bonds are easy to see and the students seem to understand them really well. Let's try making an amino acid. So if we take the nitrogen, put on a couple of hydrogens, we'll make glycine, so two there. We'll make the double bond for the carboxylic acid. And very quickly we've made glycine. And if I wish to change this, R group to 
something else. There we are. I've made aniline. The problem really comes with the snatums if I take another amino acid. So let's quickly make glycine again. Which is, as you see, really quite quick and easy to make. Take the double bond. And there we've made glycine quite quickly. If I now try to do the reaction of these, so let's do the condensation reaction and eliminate the water and put these together, this molecule now starts to become rather unwieldy. And if we put on something else let's make something like uh, isoleucine just by putting on some more of these let's take the glycine and we'll turn that into isoleucine here this is starting to become rather too unwieldy and really it breaks a little bit too easily. For much of my work I use this magnetic board and I use a presenter on top which works well with the magnetic statums. The statums are very good at showing things like steric hindrance as you can see, I can only move these things around one way before they collide. And the students appreciate this quite easily. If we make a couple of other pretend molecules, and I'm just going to use pretty colours here. Then what we can see quite easily... that I've managed to make two molecules which are non-superimposable upon each other and this shows this really quite well. Finally the good click when joining the molecules gives a realistic idea of bond energies and when they're made. This is the end of this Kickstarter campaign. Derek did not want to carry on developing Snatums as an ongoing product as he was fully engaged with other projects. If someone were to take Snatums on and develop it, then I believe that a new Snatums should get an add-on kit it would need some metal atoms and others, together with some different valencies for some of the atoms that are already in the set. Designing the multiple valency hemispheres could be quite a challenge, and benzene would represent another challenge, as would showing off some of the lone pairs. For an off-the-cuff construction of molecular models, there's nothing I've found on the market that can beat Statums.